Hey folks, it's Josh Karajewski from Industrial Logic. So I want to talk about test-driven development. First of all, many of you may not know, in the early days, it wasn't called test-driven development. Back in the late 1990s, mid to late 1990s, it was called test-first programming. Test-first programming, okay? So it's the same idea. It just got a new name when Kent Beck wrote his book in, in uh, late 90s, early 2000s called test-driven development. Same idea, but the word test was still there. Test first or test driven, still there, test. Some people think that test driven development or test first programming is about testing. It's about testing. It's not. Actually, if you really look at it, it's more about design than it is about testing. Ward Cunningham told me that, right? And if you've experienced it, you've, you've, if you've TDD'd something, Right? You've seen it go and emerge. It starts with something very basic, very primitive, and the design emerges. You learn as you uh, use the process of what you're designing. It's a magical and wonderful and very important practice. However, the name can throw people because it's not really so much about testing. It is more about software design, about emergent design. So the more you understand TDD as sort of emergent design practice, the better off you'll be. And a lot of people need to understand, how do you, how do you actually do that? Um, my company's been teaching this for many, many years. Lots of other folks teach it. There are books about it. So I recommend diving into this practice, because to me, test-driven development is one of the most important software development practices that has come along in the last 15 to 20 years. It is that important. We produce incredibly better software as a result of TDDing the software than we do without it. It's worth taking a look. Thanks for watching.